guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I packed in my hospital bag to go have baby number three so if you don't know I have a little boy his name is Brody he is five and then I have a little girl named Addison who is three and then I just had our third baby and his name is Hunter and he is now a week old which is insane how fast it goes. I feel like you wait so long to have them and then you have them and then you like blink and they're already a week old, which is nuts. So if you missed my last video, it is what I packed in my baby's hospital bag, everything that I packed for Hunter to have at the hospital. And in that video, I shared that I just absolutely ran out of time to get these videos filmed. I wanted to do it before we went into the hospital. But while I am still fresh from the hospital and everything like that, and my bag is still sort of packed, I threw in the rest of the stuff that I actually did pack. And I thought this would be cool because I can actually share with you everything I packed and then the stuff that I ended up actually using. So what stuff was unnecessary and what stuff was like a must have. So Hunter is laying right over here on my bed. He seems to be very content and napping. He has been an absolute dream. It has been such a great week and we are really getting in the swing of things. We've had lots of help from family, which has been so nice. All right, so let's hop into this video. The first thing I wanna share with you is this suitcase. So I got this off of Amazon, actually right before we went on our baby moon and I've loved it. It's a really great size and it wasn't overkill to actually take to the hospital. Like you'd think, oh, a rolling suitcase that might be like a bit much but because of the size of it it was actually perfect I didn't like jam it full of anything because I didn't need tons of stuff but um, it was great so I will link this suitcase in the description box below if you want to check that out and then also if you don't know I have c-sections so when I go to the hospital I tend to stay a little bit longer than somebody who is not having a c-section so mine was scheduled I had two other c-sections I'll link Brody and Addison's like birth stories I wasn't really on YouTube yet whenever I had them, so I don't have like actual birth vlogs. I have some footage from having them. So I'll, I'll link those in the description box below if you wanna get caught up as to why I had C-sections and that whole story. But anyway, so I went in for my third C-section. So with that, I end up staying three nights, which is kind of a long time. They will let you go home a day sooner, but I tend to need, sometimes day three is the hardest. Actually, this time the recovery was by far the easiest which was great so I was really ready to go home on that third morning but we ended up staying another night so anyways the point is we stay longer than people who don't have c-sections so keep that in mind when you see everything that I'm sharing all right so let's get into what I packed in my hospital bag for baby number three okay so the first thing that is a total necessity for your hospital bag is some good nursing gowns some comfy nursing gowns so I got one new one for having hunter that I didn't use with Addison it is from Walmart it's got some little lacy detailing here on the edge obviously the clip straps and then it's got little ruffles at the bottom this was like $12 super affordable so so soft and it's funny because whenever I had Addison I remember that the Walmart ones were actually my favorite and so I went there the other day and this was like the only like decent cute one um, so I picked that up and I took that with me I did wear that in the hospital and then I packed two other ones these were like a two-pack that I got whenever I had Addison also from Walmart I ended up wearing the black one in the hospital but not the gray one so I had one extra the first day so when I went in I went in early I had him at like 7 16 in the morning and then that whole day I stay in my hospital gown at that point after a c-section you still can't get up um, I think like later in the day is whenever they took out the catheter and all that to where I'm able to actually get to the bathroom and stuff I never changed until actually the next morning once I got up and got showered and stuff like that and then I wore that first nursing gown and then wore that the whole next day and then I wore the black one like the following day and then we left the next morning so I really didn't need quite this many but anyway just as a point of reference if you are looking for some good nursing gowns it's kind of crazy but Walmart has some really good ones and they're super affordable so and then the other thing I love to pack is like a really comfy robe so I wore this robe while we were there this one is from Amazon it's really soft I liked it that it was like olive green, like army green, just because like that's kind of like our vibe. I love olive green. And so I found this one. It's got like the lace edge on it. Super soft. I just got it in my normal size. I got it in a small. Your belly will go down a little bit, but not a ton. So 
if it would fit you during your pregnancy, then it will fit you after. Like whenever I tried this on when I was still pregnant, it was a little bit tight. So I knew, okay, this will be totally perfect once he's actually out of my belly. So I loved this robe. It comes in lots of different color options. And I thought it was really pretty for having a little baby boy. This is another set of pajamas I actually packed. This is from Target. I love these. This is the Stars Above brand. And I have this in like the shorts and like top set but for the hospital i wanted to pack the gown version like the nightgown something i think would be smart is to actually pack a nursing gown or something and not just like shorts and a top set just in case you end up with a c-section or something like that because something for me that i noticed is i didn't want things touching my incision it's way more comfortable if you end up with a c-section to not have like shorts on and stuff i like the dresses even right now i'm a week out and just being around the house and stuff like that i really like all the little gowns more than like I haven't even worn a pair of like pajamas. Does that make sense? I just wear like the dresses. So this is like perfect, has been great for being around the house, obviously with the buttons, they are functional so you can nurse. And so I love this set. This Stars Above brand, they're like affordable. It's the softest material ever. And it comes in a few different color options as well. I know it comes in a navy and a blush pink and white striped and like a leopard. So I'll probably get the leopard of this at some point too. So these are so, so good. So with that, I thought that I would pack a couple of like sleeping nursing bras to wear with that pajama set. So I packed these. This was a two pack. I shared this in a vlog like a month ago or a few weeks ago. It's hard to show on camera because it's black. Let me show you this one. So it comes in a two pack. It crisscrosses like that so it's easy to pull down to nurse. So I packed both of these in the hospital bag, but really I didn't. I didn't need them. I never wore that pajama dress at the hospital, so I didn't wear these. I packed these to wear with that. And with the nursing gowns, you don't you don't need a bra. You can just like put your um, nursing pads directly in it or whatever after the fact. At the hospital, you don't even need those. So anyway, these were extra, but that's something I did pack. I'm excited to wear those. I feel like they'll be so comfy at night sleeping and stuff like in one of those night gowns. And then this is the other robe that I got. This is the Stars Above brand as well. It looks very similar to that pajama dress. And seriously, this robe is amazing. It's so soft and comfy. And you really do need a couple. You don't necessarily need a couple to take to the hospital. You really only need one probably. I only wore the green one didn't wear this in the hospital but since I've been home it's been really nice to have multiple because you know things are leaking from everywhere and so you know it's good to have extras in case one gets dirty so that you can you know swap it out and then you still have something to wear I will link that robe that robe is amazing definitely recommend okay the next thing that I packed are these barefoot dreams leopard socks they are so comfy and cozy and I did wear these at the hospital just to be like super comfy and I love them so much. It just kind of is like brings a little luxury to your hospital experience because you're just kind of the whole time after having a baby. So something like kind of cozy and nice like this that just makes you feel good is like definitely worth packing. All right, next up, this might be funny to you, but I feel like an absolute necessity is candy or a treat or whatever so you can pack some snacks for your husband if you want steven my husband mostly ordered food like delivery food jimmy john sandwiches we did pizza a couple nights from a couple different local like gourmet pizza places and anyway he didn't eat any of the hospital food i ate i ate the hospital food just for breakfast and it was actually pretty good but late at night we're like sour candy people so one night we watched Ted Lasso on his laptop and we ate some sour candy. So I did pack a bag of gummy bears as well and a bag of the trolley gummy worms, but we already ate those. And since I'm filming this after the fact, I don't have those anymore to show you. I packed this, we never opened the Sour Patch even though this is like our favorite. And then I would have packed a bag of those nerd gummy clusters, but Target didn't have any whenever I was packing my bag before. Anyway, those are like our favorite like go-to sour candies. So. It was nice to have that, so we just snacked on that one night while we were watching a show. Next, I packed my little jewelry case. This was from Target last year, like around the winter time. I love this so much to pack like earrings and necklaces and all that kind of stuff. So I packed just kind of like my basic jewelry. Never ended up even opening this. I thought, oh, whenever we're leaving the hospital, like going home, I don't know. I'd want to put on a necklace, but 
I did not deal with that, so that was kind of silly, but uh, you never know how you're gonna feel. I remember leaving the hospital two other times and I didn't put any makeup on. I just was like, ugh, I wanna get home, I don't wanna deal with it. So we rushed out and it's like, my, our pictures of like leaving the hospital, I just look like scary. So this time I was like, I'm gonna like take the time, put on a little bit of makeup before we leave the hospital so that I don't look quite so like, deadly when we leave and so I can get a cute picture with Hunter. So anyways, but I did not put on any jewelry. Okay, of course I packed my phone charger and I also packed an extension cord. So this is a really good idea just because when you're sitting in the hospital bed, if your phone's dying, like it, it won't reach all the way to the wall. Then you can't access your phone if you're setting alarms or anything like that or if you wanna just look at your phone you need an extension cord or just a super long charger. So I just, I already had both of these. So I just use this instead of getting like a really long charger. But anyway, definitely a must have for sure. All right, so I obviously packed my camera and all of that kind of stuff in my purse though. So it's not really in this bag, but in here I packed a tripod. I love this tripod so much. I use this to film reels and stuff. It's got a little phone attachment. So we did use this since we couldn't have any visitors. We used this in the hospital room to take a picture of me, Steven and Hunter. So that was cool. It worked out really nicely. And this tripod actually comes with a little remote. So easy. It's like a little Bluetooth remote. So this was really, really nice. And then I did film a reel with this. And anyways, you might want a tripod or anything if you're filming or if you're taking pictures or whatever. This one was like $20 on Amazon. And seriously, I've used this tripod so much. And since it's so small, it's really easy to travel with it. So packed that. And then I also, in my hospital bag, packed an extra camera battery for my actual camera so that whenever I was like vlogging and kind of filming like the birth vlog and stuff, I would have an extra battery. I also packed my camera charger as well, just in case any of the batteries died, so obviously. And then I got these pillow slides from Amazon. Love these so much. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with them. I have them in pink. I wore them like all summer. They were great through my pregnancy because they're so, so comfy. And obviously you just slide them on, <laughs> so you don't have to tie anything, whatever. Anyway, so I got these because I was having a boy. I was like, I wanna wear pink slides. And the one thing is, because I had a C-section beforehand, they pump you full of lots of fluids before surgery and then after surgery, lots of fluids. So my feet were so puffy. I actually showed it on my Insta stories while I was there, but we went one night to go walking through the halls. They want you up and kind of moving around and stuff. So we were like, okay, we're gonna go walk around. And I went to go put these on and my feet were like hanging off the back. Like I could not get my feet in them because my feet were so swollen. They actually fit me just fine. But anyway, that was just like kind of funny. My feet looked really weird in these but these are perfect like hospital shoes. You can obviously shower in them and stuff as well, which is nice. Anyway, love these so, so much. Next up is my going home outfit. So I had this like grand vision of wearing this really cute like knit, like loungewear set home. I was having an October baby. My other babies are summer babies and all this stuff, but the reality is is that we live in Texas and when we left the hospital, it was 91 or 92 degrees. So needless to say, I did not wear like a cute fall outfit home from the hospital. So I ended up just wearing a dress that I already had that I wore throughout my pregnancy. And again, I like wearing dresses just right after surgery to not like aggravate my incision at all. It's just comfier. And since you're kind of wearing like the mesh panties and the whole thing, it's like the last thing I want to wear is like leggings. It's like not cute. So having a flowy dress honestly is better in my opinion. So I just wore this like wild fable dress from Target. Definitely not like nursing friendly. Like right before we left the hospital, I had to like loosen the straps and just like pull it down so I could feed him before we left. But I didn't really have any good options to leave the hospital in that I already had that was like, I've I don't know, that would fit my belly, that was a dress, that was nursing friendly, you know what I mean? I would almost need like a button down dress and I didn't have anything like that. So I was like, this was fine. Just wore that with a black nursing bra. These are some of my favorite nursing bras. They are from Amazon. It's like a three pack for I think like $29.99. So it's a pretty good deal. I loved them with Addison. They're great nursing bras. So I just put that under it. And then I wore a oversized denim jacket just kind of rolled up the sleeves. 
just hide my nursing bra. <laughs> it was kind of an interesting outfit, but you couldn't tell when I had the jacket over it. And then some little no-show socks. And then with that, I wore my platform Converse that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Anyway, these, Steven put them on for me because I couldn't like bend over to put them on. Again, my feet were so like puffy from all the fluids. They fit fine, but like my ankles were like puffing out the sides. It was very weird. <laughs> But anyways, I don't remember swelling that bad with the other ones, but I'm sure, I'm sure I did. All right, and then I packed, obviously, my makeup just because I wanted to be able to, like, you know, look decent in some pictures while we were there, kind of freshen myself up, not feel so blah the whole time. So I just packed kind of, like, everyday makeup. It was nothing, like, crazy in here, um, no lashes, no things like that. It was just basically my everyday makeup and kind of some of my favorite things that I enjoyed having there. And what was so nice in the hospital is this, the Tula Rose Glow, what's it called? Rose Glow and get it, cooling eye balm. So I felt like the air in the hospital was like really dry. My skin was so dry. So this was just nice because it has a cooling effect and just kind of brightens your skin up a little bit. So I loved having that. And then the Tula Primer. So like if I didn't want to put makeup on, just feel a little bit fresher, more evened out, this was great. I have this in the Sunrise color and it just kind of makes my face look a little bit tanner and just like really, really smooth. So those were really nice if I didn't want to put makeup on, but I wanted to just feel a little bit fresher. Loved having those products. So anyways, just packed kind of my everyday makeup in there. If you've been around my channel, you know I've shared my everyday makeup so I won't go through the whole bag. So here is my toiletry bag of all of my toiletries that I packed. All right, so first up, got a scrunchie. I used this to pull my hair up while I was sitting in the hospital bed one of the days, and I love this scrunchie. It's like a velvet olive green scrunchie. It's from Target, it comes in a two pack, comes with an ivory one as well, and then they have a few different color options of different sets, but I love these so much. Then I packed a little towel scrunchie. This is by the brand Kitsch. You can get these at Ulta or online, but I use this in my hair to put up my a bun in my hair while I was like taking a shower so my hair didn't get wet because I didn't wash my hair while I was at the hospital. I think if you're in labor and you're like sweating for 24 hours in labor then you probably want to wash your hair but that was not my experience. I also packed this little headband for makeup but I never ended up putting this on. Didn't really need a makeup headband but just kind of extra when I was packing. Toothbrush of course. I always put these little headbands on just like a random headband. I've had this for like 50 million years but I put these on my head whenever I get in the shower with the scrunchie just so my hair doesn't get wet and then some lotion this is some of my favorite lotion it's from Trader Joe's it's the coconut body butter so good I did end up packing shampoo and conditioner like my little travel ones but like I said didn't end up using it my like leave-in conditioner I thought well just in case if I want to wash my hair you know but I didn't end up washing it then I packed some little travel dry shampoo but honestly you guys I've like barely been using dry shampoo I've been retraining my hair so my hair girl says that dry shampoo dries out your hair kind of bad for it it's almost like the way she says it she's like you you pile on dry shampoo it's kind of like not ever washing your makeup off and you just keep piling more on it's really bad so I've been like getting away from dry shampoo which is a, kind of a good thing but I did pack that just in case and I don't think I ever used it my face wash from Tula little travel toothpaste then I love having the makeup wipes these are the Billy makeup wipes just when you're sitting in the bed if you want to like freshen up you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom and do a whole face wash at night or whatever it was nice to just take a makeup wipe and wipe off my face and then put on some moisturizer or whatever and just kind of freshen up that way and with that i packed some like eye makeup remover and some little cotton pads for that and then i have chapstick in here i put this on my little bedside table I, like my skin was so so dry I do not know what the deal was but like literally my skin was just like peeling so anyways it was nice to have my chapstick on my bedside table and then I had this like what is this the Hedra Beauty Essence Mist from Chanel so when my face would feel dry I just like spray it all over my face and that was like really really nice again on my bedside table this is a must-have you need some kind of like something for her nursing 
So this is um, the Medela Tinder Care Lanolin, and so it just kind of helps relieve your boobs, your nipples, <laughs> while you're breastfeeding because they do get a little sore in the beginning. So this is definitely a must have. This is the one I've used with all my kids, but I know there's all kinds of like different things out there, but that one's always worked really well for me. You won't be messed up if you don't pack it. Usually the lactation consultants will have something that you can put on, but I just used mine. Then I packed some Q-tips deodorant, moisturizer. Then I packed two little like nursing pads, disposable nursing pads. You won't need those when you're at the hospital because at the beginning your milk hasn't come in yet so you're not gonna be like leaking or anything like that. But every time with every one of my babies, my milk always comes in before I actually leave like the day that the day before I'm like leaving to go home is when my milk usually comes in so by that final day it's full on in and so that's why I packed those was to wear home with my going home outfit just so I didn't like leak through or anything like that so if your milk comes in early or if you're a new mom and you don't know I would just pack some just in case but mine always kind of comes in I think they say it's typically like day three to five and for me like it's always on the front end of that so then I packed some hair oil. I love this one. This is by Devine's and this is really nice, especially in the hospital when the air was so dry, my hair felt like so brittle. So each day I would just put some hair oil on the ends of my hair and kind of freshen it up that way and like moisturize it. So I liked having that. Of course, I also packed a hairbrush. Gotta brush that hair, you know? So that is everything that I packed in my toiletry bag. And honestly, I think that's everything I packed in my whole hospital bag. So basically just necessity stuff. Of course, the robes and stuff like that are kind of fun to pick out a cute one, something super soft and cozy. You could obviously pack a blanket or something like that if there's like a special one that you like. But for me, I like something about hospitals. I'm like, I don't want to take like my nice barefoot dreams blanket to the hospital and it feel kind of like, sometimes it feels like grimy. I don't know. That sounds weird because I know it's clean, but I just didn't want to take my like nice blanket there. Um, I was like, I'll just use what they have. Same thing with pillows. Some people like to take their own pillow. And honestly, I just use what they have. Towels, just use what they have and let them deal with it. <laughs> and then I can keep my stuff like pretty minimal. So that is everything that I packed in my hospital bag for baby number three. Of course, there were some things I didn't end up using, but mostly I used everything I took and was all kind of necessity stuff not like a lot of extra like I'm not super extra I just kind of like pack what I need and good to go so hopefully this helped you and gave you some ideas of things that you could pack in your hospital bag if it did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video and the next video will be the birth vlog I'm so excited to go through all of that footage and edit it and get it up for you guys it's I feel like it's gonna be so sweet to like look through it all so can't wait for that. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you later. Bye.